Yo, what's up, y'all? See Sent Tech in. Check this out. Galaxy Note 8, right? Well, check out something better. Let me unlock this real quick. You see this? One UI on here. That's a thing now. All right, y'all. So before I actually get really into the video, I want to let y'all know this is only for the Snapdragon Note 8 and S8. So just keep that in mind. So if you got your S8 or No8 from the United States or Latin America or Japan, then you could get it. But if you're not, or if you got it from somewhere else, then you can't do that. So yeah, sorry, I know it sucks, but like, it'll be out soon. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick look of this new One UI on the Galaxy No8. And it's basically the same, no, it's not basically. It is the same thing as the One UI on the other devices, but on the No8. Alright, so first things first. Bixby, I know you all love her. No, but really though, I actually do like Bixby. I just don't like the Bixby button being on and me triggering it. I like holding on to it, but like not pressing it and opening it, which actually turned that off. So you can actually do a double press now just to let you know, which is pretty cool. But yeah, Bixby voice and home just got an update. So it's just basically Bixby 2.0, but on one UI. So if I ask it this, I hold on to the button or just say, Hi Bixby, what's the weather? It got a whole new update and a new visual update and all that. It seems a little bit quicker and more descriptive but yeah got a lot more google assistant type features here like if you click on these like wind speed and all that it'll show you that and if i pull out google voice what's the weather wait hold on what's the weather you got these little buttons here at the bottom so yeah that's where bixby got it from moving on from bixby because this is a quick review we got new icons here and they're actually kind of ugly to me i'm gonna just say that right now i don't really like the icons i like the old icons better but samsung will be samsung and they change things a lot but yeah, new app icons here, as you can see here, they all changed, every single one of them. And I, I just not really feeling it that much. They're not bad, but it seems like some Xiaomi or Huawei will make something like that. And I don't really like those companies. And you can see here, they also changed the navigation buttons here. But while we're talking about the navigation buttons, let's get to the recent apps here. So they changed the recent apps. So we got this new scroll little thing right here, kind of like the iPhone X and all that. I'm not really feeling it that much, but again, it's just like, I'll get used to it, I guess. It's just what Google had from their stock Android. Like you can even scroll here and everything, but I don't know. I, I just guess I'll get used to it. So you can scroll here. You can hold on to the app icons for more options. You could do a whole bunch of stuff on here. If you want to get into the multi window, you just hold on to the app icon and click this right here. Open in split screen view. Other than the apps at the bottom and everything, it's just basically the same thing. And if you don't really know what the main goal of One UI is, it's basically just so you can hold it in one hand better and get some more things better. So this is the viewing area and this is the interaction area. So I can actually get to these buttons a lot easier than I usually could. So you can see here and that's pretty nice. And this is for like all the apps. So if I go to the settings here, you can see again, same thing. You probably see something else here too. Like things are like a lot more rounded off. Like all the buttons here, the notifications, like everything's rounded off. And this is a quick look. So I'm gonna just get into one more thing. The thing that matters most. We got a dark mode. It's called night mode, but it's just the same thing. So dark mode, yeah. It's only on Samsung apps right now, and maybe it'll go to third party apps and all that, but we finally got our dark mode. And that goes everywhere, and I trust you, it goes everywhere. So let me go to the clock or something like that. So let's click on this real quick. Dark mode, we got it. But I think this is just a Note 8, but it won't actually work. Like I actually have to toggle it myself. So I guess that's just a bug of the One UI beta on the Galaxy Note 8, but other than that, that's really one UI. I mean, there's more changes and all that, but this is just a quick look. Maybe I'll do a full review. I don't know. I probably won't end up doing a full review, but I guess that's it, y'all. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. There's other little changes, like the clock is on the left side instead of the right and all that. And more other things I'll probably cover later. You can also watch other videos on one UI, like this isn't the only phone. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much all I had to say. So thanks for watching. I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace out. Also, since you stay till the end of the video, stay tuned for Christmas because I got a Galaxy S9 Plus unboxing coming. This is a